Ooh. That was really clever. That was really close. I almost bumped that straight off my head, but then I caught it. Yeah, I feel like it's just a sunken uh, fallacy cost, right? Because, like, if you drop Q and you're, like, two hours in it and it's not bugged, because, like, you don't actually know if it's bugged. That was, like, the main thing that I, like, always argue is, like, you don't actually know. You you just assume it's bugged because there's no way you could sit in a two-hour queue, right? Like, that's what everyone was basically inferring. So it's like, okay, well, it's probably bugged, but, like, you don't actually know if it's bugged. And it's just, like, ah, uh, it's just so shitty. You know what I mean? Like, that's just so shitty. Um... Man, I really hate being first pick. It's really not fun. Low elo rider. Dude, I mean, I hope the queue is bugged. Like, I, I hope that it was bugged. But just because, like, just because it is bugged doesn't mean that's okay. That's what I was trying to convey. Is like, you're so conditioned, like, you're so conditioned that, like, it was just totally cool that someone sat in a three-hour three, three hour queue and it was just okay. Because it's a bug. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, okay. I guess it's just a bug, so it's fine. It's totally fine that a multi-billion dollar game, just like, it doesn't even get you into a game. I was unsure if I wanted to do this. I was wondering if I could test drive it, where, um, for Wednesday when I do the ADC learning, if I, uh, let subs, let subs play with me. Like, let the sub be the support, and you can be in Discord with me and I play with you. I'm not completely sure if I want to do this, or if I maybe just test drive it, and then maybe it's a disaster and I don't bother with it next week, but... I'm considering, I'm considering leaving that as an option. No duos? That would be a disaster. That could be a shit show. <laughs> Alright, maybe, maybe it's not as great of an idea as I thought. Yeah, maybe it's not as great of an idea as I thought. Could you imagine terrible support mechanics with Derek's old man mechanics? What does that even mean? Huh, <sighs> same Macaulay from last game. Dude, that game just felt so bad to play. Cause like, I just kept going mid. I'd fight and then lose. And like, I just go mid, fight and then lose. And if I don't, then my mid later just dies. So the game just like felt like shit. IQ 200 player, IQ 199 player. Has a 200 player been in my game last two games also? I know the allowee has been in all of my games. I just don't remember if this other guy was here. They've been both in my game? Yeah, dude, I'm out. Of Dude, I'm so out of it today. Like, actually, I, tr I really am not here. I think Hook is actually an acceptable start in this lane. Because he should go Boomerang. Nice. Oh, I can't believe I missed that. Damn, they got a really good trade on me level one, but uh, I was able to turn the lane around with that hook. Probably just get it into the turret and then call it a day. Oh, well. Yeah, just get into the turret and take a reset. Mm, I think I just wait for a refill. It is now a brand one trick stream. Before that, it was a Nami one trick stream. Sona one trick stream. It's just always a one trick stream, no matter what. Huh. Wow, I really thought that the Soraka used exhaust in the all-in. That's super my bad. Also, that play got saved so hard by Draven, I actually fucked up and missed my hook. Like, I missed my play and I missed the hook. But he stood aside me, and so he stood aside me and pushed me into the hook. That could have been real fucking bad. That was a re that was a reportable offense by me, honestly. So I have a word here, so I can see if he tries to do dragons now. Nice. Was able to predict him like pretty well. 
Alright, at least I made up for like my bad play early. This Soraka is probably upset at Draven. Really? I feel like I, if I was a Draven, I'd be upset at the Soraka. Because if the Soraka used Exhaust at level 1, I don't, I'm not sure that the Draven dies. Like, I didn't actually realize that that was on cooldown. Like, Soraka just straight up didn't use her Exhaust. Do you like this Thresh skin? Uh, I like it because I play TFT. It's just way more familiar for me. I actually like this skin. Like, I play TFT, so I, I, I have, like, some familiarity with it. And I, I just enjoy it. Dude, I hate... I hate this game. I hate not having voice comms. It's so tilting. Like, literally, that guy got to get a free trade because I'm fucking typing to my donor. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, it's just so... It's just so dumb. Almost killed him still. What was that? I mean, Sivir is a terrible matchup into Draven. I've just been able to bail us out of a bad matchup because I've hit a lot of hooks. But I'm intentionally backing on this on the ward. Who counters Thresh? Nothing. There are very, like, I hate that word. I hate that it gets used so often. Like, almost nothing counters nothing. Morg? No. There are very few things that counter a counter or something else. It's like almost nothing in the game, honestly. And a lot of that's tied to, like, the pairings, too. Like, certain ADC pairings, like, circumvent, like, bad matchup circum uh, situations. Uh, okay, can reset now. Get my rebel. Uh, get my, um, I was gonna say ruby crystal, and then I said rebel. Kindle gem, that's what I'm looking for. But would Ezreal Yumi counter blitz to you? Yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying, like, people ask that question, they, like, want counter picks, like, everything. And I just really don't like that question, because it's just, like, it's super disingenuous. Nothing counters Thresh, because you can fuck up and lose to a Thresh. There's stuff that, like, does okay into it. But, like, even if you have, like, a good Thresh matchup, sometimes if your ADC matchup is bad, then it doesn't matter. Dude, like, imagine if I was laying with a Twitch in this game. Like, would it matter? You know what I mean? Like... Can you just let me walk first? He's done that, like, on six or seven plays now. Like, he literally just won't let me walk up first. That's why he almost died here, too. Yeah, like, bot lane's a 2v2 matchup. Like, it doesn't matter. Even if, like, you're a, even if, like, your support champion, like, has, like, a good matchup into it. How did that not slow? I can't believe that he wasn't in range for that. Also, I think this guy stopped trying a long time ago. Oh, yeah. This guy stopped trying a long time ago. This is one of the drawbacks of playing with, uh... With a Draven player is if you ever do fall behind, usually a Draven player will just not care anymore and he'll tr he'll grief you the rest of the game. Oh. God damn it. I went to I went to flash, but then I hit I hit the flay correctly, but I input buffered my flash, so my character just flashed after I flayed, even though I didn't press even though I didn't press flash again. The game that gives you six hour long cues and input buffers the living shit out of you. That's three for one. I just don't think I needed to die there. I actually I genuinely don't believe I needed to die there. I just got griefed by my input buffering. Like, this guy gave up a while ago. He's just griefing now. Like, he just walks into lane and dies. Uh, hey, I'm a uh, Hearthstuck D3 uh, support player. Recommendations for climbing. Uh, yeah. Uh, all, th all the things are not, like, in-game stuff, though. Um, take breaks. Take breaks whenever you lose. Oh, I saw, um, I actually saw this really interesting Reddit post where I kind of, like, agreed with it. Where the guy was, like... He played three. He played a best of three, basically with his solo queue games. And anytime he failed the best of three, he would stop playing for like an hour or two. 
But, I mean, my best piece of advice is, yeah, like, just, like, <clears throat> just space out, just space out the amount of games you play, and play less games, but more focused games. Also, uh, only play one or two champions every game. I mean, this guy's tilted, so I know that the only direction he'll run is forward, so I'm just always aiming it at, like, forward direction, because I, I know that he's griefing. This is the first time I've seen Sorak in a while. Minion secured. Didn't know if you had flash. So I'd rather just dump the ignite because we miss boomerang. I mean, thrash always feels great when you slam lane. That's for sure. This should have been a 15 FF, but I already know that the Draven is griefing so hard that he probably is just voting no. I'm surprised like no one's typed open yet. Uh, I really thought the Soraka would keep playing her character correctly, but she didn't die. One of them typed open. Dude, so long ago, though. And they're all playing. Uh, I'm actually okay just getting a Zeke's here. I've honestly never seen a good Alawi before. She's definitely a champion. Uh, it or he or whatever the fuck. That champion only seems to do well if someone plays it. Like, exclusively. Like, it's a very one-trick-ish kind of champion. I would have thought with the bla with um, with Death's Dance, like, that champion would be really, really good. But actually, it Alawi is, like, not that good because he doesn't use Boric. That's also, like, another contributing reason why I don't think you see that much Alawi. IMO, like, if you have to go Trinity instead of Blade of the Rune King, I already think that puts you at, like, a pretty reasonably big disadvantage. Yeah, see, someone was holding them hostage. Yeah, I mean, Alawi's play play patterns seem a lot different than most of the other top laners, so it's definitely kind of weird.